What's going on my trainer club? Today we're gonna check out the trainer club's Billy's 100% IV collection in Pokemon Go so you guys can see all of my 100% IVs and we'll focus on some of the more important ones. So welcome to the trainer club, here we go! Welcome back everybody. Let me know in the comments below, how are you guys doing on your 100% IV Pokemon and Pokemon Go? So I've been really fortunate to live in some areas that have a lot of really hardcore players, a lot of really tight knit communities, and people that call out 100% IVs when they are spawning. So my 100% IV collection may look a lot different than your 100% IV collection. But without further ado, let's pull up my 100% IV collection. You guys can check it all out. It's gonna be the official trainer club 100% IV collection in Pokemon Go. So let's check it out. All right, so let's, um, what do you want to do? Let's see what my oldest 100% IV is. So four stars. So for a grand total, I have 517 100% IV Pokemon. My oldest one is going to be an Alakazam. This was actually caught on September 4th, 2016, and I started on July 12th, 2016. So a few months after the game came out, I caught this one. You're going to see a lot of these Pokemon that are going to come from Tennessee. This is a rare exception because we went there for day, I must have just like snagged that somehow, but, and this was probably before I even knew what 100% IVs are. I just liked that it was a high CP before IVs were in the game, before they were in the thing. And yeah, so that one's sitting right there. And then this is gonna be a Magikarp from Sandy Springs. So if we do check this out, this is a lot of fun, man. These are old Pokemon. So that was an Oddish, we had an Omastar, and then we got a Tyranitar, and I believe this one came about when there was a, oh, what was it? It was some type of rock event in Pokemon Go when there was just a ton of Tyranitar spawning. And then we had the Dratini uh, right there. There was a Dratini nest that there was like really high. So back in the day, before a lot of new generations came out, it used to be the further along in the Pokedex, the more common it was, and I don't even think those Pokemon went down. It was like a hatch level. It was like, when it was a Dratini, it was pretty much always in the wild at like an 80% IV and up. So that's why it's quite common to see a lot of these old Pokemon that are really high IVs, like these, you know, Dratinis, the Dragonite right there. Because when it worked, how it worked was in the wild, like when I went to Miami, and I tell you guys the story a couple times if you watched all my videos, and we went Lapras hunting in Miami on South Beach, parked our car, rode our bikes around. All of the Lapras that we caught in the wild, during that time, I'm gonna go ahead and I'll, sh I'll show you right here. We got one, two, so two from Miami. I caught a total of five, I must have deleted them by now. Okay, so this was my first one ever. This is an 80%, I believe that was an egg hatch. This was a wild one, just straight wild. We caught five total. The chances of you getting two of five in the IVs that I'm about to show you, virtually impossible, because they were literally egg hatch level when they were in the wild. These are wild Lapras from Miami Beach, and that was, um, September 19th, right? So that's crazy. So now we're gonna go back to my 100% IV collection and we're gonna go ahead and search by number. So we do have the Bulbasaurs, we have Charmanders, we've been through two Charmander calm days, we've had Bulbasaur calm day, Squirtle's in there. I'm gonna point out some of my rarest Pokemon that I do have in there as well. Pidgey is actually one of my favorite ones, so anytime there's ever been a call out for Pidgey, I've went after it. We have the Raticate. this is actually one of my favorite ones. I absolutely love this Pokemon. Caught, I believe the gotcha picked this one up. 100% IV Rattata, Alolan form. I love it, absolutely love it. That was a really hard one for me to find. And then we have all these Pikachus. Pikachus are common, man. I really like this one. This one came from Field Research, and we did max it out in my level 50 video, if you guys do want to check it out up there. Really big fan, Pikachu quite common. Then we have all uh, Sand Shrews. Oh, and then I did get this one from a raid. I haven't maxed it out yet, but it is buddy boosted. 100% IV from a raid. In Atlanta, I actually like just got back to Atlanta. I think this was for, yeah, right by Rhyhorn Calm Day, I believe. Went back to Atlanta right before it. I was like in the library doing some work, happened to do this raid and it was weather boosted. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's amazing. So those are the 100% IVs that you can't get in the wild that are really cool. And I don't know where I got this one. This one was from an egg. Love it, another one that now you can get that one in the wild, but it's a little bit less common. We have the Jigglypuffs. This was actually before the Shadow Pokemon. I purified this one before we actually knew about the Shadow Pokemon, so I'm just keeping it just to keep it, but that's kind of a thing. Then we had that Alakazam, and then we have the Machamps. Machamp was another one. Calm day, we went hard. These ones spawned all the time in Atlanta, so anytime there was nests that we went after, anytime anybody called out a 100% IV, we were going to get it. And then I absolutely love this one, so I actually picked this one up. I believe it's in, um, 
it doesn't say. Vancouver, Washington. That was on Ryko Raid Day. If you guys do remember when the shiny Ryko was released for the first time and you could raid for it for, I believe it was three hours, we went all the way from Bend into Portland area. We raided for it and the gotcha picked this one up, which was one of my favorite things ever. And that was kind of like the start of my YouTube channel. And then we got the Galarian Farfetch, which I, I love this Pokemon. I, I haven't even evolved it into Surfetch yet. I don't know. I'm kind of weird about it. And then we have the Alolan Muck. Love it. Hatched this Pokemon. This one was from an egg from Smyrna. I was actually in Savannah. I was in the car and the egg popped up and I clicked it and I was like, oh, that Pokemon. I saw the IV and I was like, oh my gosh, I think that's 100% IV. I hatched the 100% IV and I actually hatched another one. Grimer, 785, that one's permanently branded in my mind. And then we have the Cloisters, the Gastlies, Onyx, Hypno. This was from a Lucky Trade, which is pretty cool. I love seeing those Lucky 100% IVs. It's just, for me, it's like, you can power it up for so much less Stardust. Couple executes, saving those in case we ever have a calm day. You never know, I don't know. Executor, love that Pokemon. And then the Hitmonchan, the only one that I have came from, I purified it to get it there because I absolutely needed this one. I don't even care about the shadow. And this was also before the shadows, I knew about how strong they were, that one. And we actually have one Chansey that's a 100% IV right here. Super baby, I haven't maxed it out because it's so baby. And if we keep going, got another lucky Sea King right there. Jinx, Scyther, Starmie. There was a point in my time and it was actually happening when I got this Starmie. I was like, man, I'm gonna max every 100% IV that I have. Thankfully I didn't, because <laughs> I would have zero Stardust, and I wouldn't be teaching you guys as good of tips right now, but that's the thing. So I, I got really excited about that particular Pokemon. We have Pinsir maxed out, ready for the Mega. Then we have the Gyaradoses. You guys do notice like tons of Gyaradoses. I'm telling you, you guys, we really hunted hard to try to get these 100% IV Shinies. And I do have two 100% IV Dittos. I believe one was a Pidgey that was called out, one was a Rattata. Love it. And then the Eevee Calm Day we went super hard for. Kabutops. And then we actually have uh, an Aerodactyl. These ones should be from Atlanta. When we were, okay, that one's from Atlanta. And then Snorlaxes. I haven't maxed out any more, but I do have one maxed out right now. I'd love to max this one all the way. But that what it is. And then some legendaries. So we have three 100% IV legendaries, Articunos. Don't ask me how I got those. Three Zapdoses, Bananas. Moltres. Moltres, I believe, was my first ever, first ever, it was one of these. Okay, Zapdos was my first ever 100% IV Pokemon that I got. I was so hyped for that one. So hyped. We really played pretty hard for that. And then we have all the Dratinis from the Calm Day. That was a nutty day. It was nutty. We had some weather boost. It was crazy. Then we have a couple IV Mewtwo's. Shout out to Chumli Austin for giving me this Pokemon as a random trade, not even a lucky trade. I love that one. I'm definitely gonna mega that one at some point or another. And we have some more starters right here. Other Pokemon, Ampharos. These ones, uh, I believe, this one is an Ampulse. So that one has Dragon Pulse on it. Love that Pokemon. And then we have a bunch of other random Pokemon in here. Yanma, we have some Eevees. And then we have Murkrow. We actually got 100% IV Lucky Murkrow. Love it. I'm telling you guys, you guys may be seeing my collection like, how do you do this? How do you get so many? You gotta be in a place that's really densely populated with a really tight-knit community. It really makes the biggest world of difference. We got a 100% Ivy Lucky Miss Drevis. Gotta love that. And then the Steelix right here, this is gonna be a future Mega Boost Pokemon because we do have a Mega Steelix coming out at some point or another. And then I have the Scissor that is already at level 30, 100% IV, and it's buddy boosted. Hopefully we'll have an event where we get some Scyther spawns. We can stock up on the XL candy. Swinub, Deli Bird. I believe one of these came from New York City. I was, I moved, nope, okay, maybe they didn't. I might have deleted that one. I know I got one in New York City, but apparently, hey, and then we have a Hatch Smoochum. Absolutely love this Pokemon. Anything I can hatch or get from a raid, it feels more rare and unique for me. Absolutely love it. And then Tyranitar, guys, I have a bunch of maxed out Tyranitars. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight maxed out 100% IV Tyranitars. I have a lucky one, and then another baby one that I haven't maxed out yet. And then we have Lugia, Lugia. I absolutely love this 100% Aeroblast Lugia. That one took me forever. That's actually a more recent Pokemon. Ho-Oh, that one was a really stressful one too. That was before I was YouTubing. Now we're on to the next gen, Gen 3. We have the starters, these ones. I have one of each buddy boosted, if you guys do see, because of the Megas. Megas of these Pokemon are, should be pretty strong. And then I got 100% IV. 
Galarian Zigzagoon. I have not evolved it yet, but I am ready to evolve it. An Obstagoon, that's gonna be a fun one right there. Then we have Lotad. I'm probably gonna go through and delete some of these to be quite honest with you guys. I really need to start lowering my numbers. I have Slack Off in here. I really don't like the Slack Offs. I just don't like them. They sit really high in my bag and they kind of like are ugly to look at for me. So although I do have these, they're all level 35. That one's maxed at level 40. I'm not the biggest fan just because I have to, yeah, they sit in my bag kind of weird. I don't, I don't really know. I don't, I don't like it too much. And then we have this one. I love this one. This one came from a lucky trade. 100% IV right there. Keep going. We have the Illumise. I do not have the opposite, the Volbeat. I don't have 100% IV Volbeat. I am looking for that one actively. Would love to get that Pokemon. Flygon, Altaria. That one's going to be the Mega that I have buddy boosted right there. And then the, the Wish Cash. I call it a Wish Bash. I don't know why. Corefish, like that one, pretty cool one. Cradilly and Anorith were actually semi-challenging for me to get. And then we got a lucky 100% IV one, which is epic. I kind of really like Armaldo. I think it's a unique looking Pokemon. Melodic, love it. I plan to buddy boost that one at some point or another. Then we have all the cast forms. And then we hatched 100% IV, why not? Nope, we don't want to do anything with these Pokemon. 100% <laughs> IV, why not right there? I haven't done anything with it. I love that Pokemon. I'm just sitting on it. It's a baby. Babies are like super rare for me. And then we have a couple of the Salamences. We actually have Beldums, a couple ones that were traded. This one was traded to me. Thank you to my buddy Yan Yan traded. This one was also traded. Got the 100% IV on that one. And this one was actually a level one 100% IV. That's why it's called Mini Mash. It was a level 100% IV. And then when we did have some raids come out, I don't even remember what it was, but I maxed it out. Then we have the Latios, Latias, Registeel. We have two Kyogres. I haven't maxed the second one yet. Two Rayquazas. Bidoof, gotta have that one. Bidoof, gotta have it. And then we have Boniri that I maxed out. That one's uh, actually an active one right now. That one's gonna be a level 50. 51 if I put it as a best buddy. Then we just got super lucky. Look, we have four lucky 100% IV Garchomps. One being a shiny. Yes, 100% IV shiny Garchomp. Carnivine, that one was a rare one. That one came, I believe I was in Tampa for that one. I don't know why it keeps wanting to click that. It might be the Tampa. That one, I was super grateful when I got that one. Rhyperior, Calm Day went crazy. Tangrowth, Yan Mega, we have some Leafeon and Glaceon. The Gliscor, love it. I have both of them. Shiny and nine shiny 100% IVs. Mamoswines, gotta have the Mamoswines. Porygon Z, that one was really rare. Got that one on Calm Day, actually. Really rare for me, and, I, and I'm not one to keep uh, like the whole family 100% IVs, the whole shiny. I don't really care about that. I just want one, and usually it gets evolved. Frost last 100% IV, and then I got the Mesprit when we were raiding. I love the Mesprit. I'm super grateful for that one. That was a rare one. Obviously, we had to get some remote raids. And then here, this one's unique. So I actually got, this one was traded to me, non-lucky, from my buddy Yan Yan, non-lucky 100% IV. And I think, did I raid for this one? Uh, remote raid for that one. So I got both the remote and the non one. Oshawa, gotta love it. Unpheasant, so I caught this one with the gotcha. It was a, it's obviously a super low level. I haven't touched it with anything. I haven't taken it all the way to the top yet either. And I got a gotcha. No, I hatched this one. Yeah, hatched this one. Simipore. I love the hatches, man. They, they really hold a special place for me. We got 100% IV. Whimsicott right there. That will go. And then we have the Joltik, the Pharaoh Seed, got a lucky one. This was a traded, another one. Matt, thank you for this one. Traded, non-lucky, 100% IV Axew, rare. Those two are the rarest ones probably that I have because of how they were traded. And then that Dino is obviously super rare. Hatched this one and I maxed it. It's buddy boosted, it's ready for a high Hydreigon. I, have, I don't even have a high Hydreigon yet. And then we have the Cobalion, the Terrakion. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't get the Verizian, but I have uh, the 98% of that one. Then we have some of these. The Zekrom, I absolutely love that one. That was one of my favorite 100% IVs. And then we're stocking up here. And then it comes all the way down. We got a Litleo. We actually got the male and the female. So this is a female. Obviously, you see I haven't evolved it yet. And then we got the male, which was really cool. Swirlix. And then finally, a Binnacle. So, total, 517. If you want to do the Luckies too. So 24 of them have come from lucky Pokemon. So that's why I'm telling you guys, lucky trades, even spamming trades. A lot of these aren't lucky specific trades. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All not specific lucky trades. 10, 11, 12, uh, 13. I know two of these, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 
20 of my 24 were not planned lucky trades. I know I had one Garchomp regular that came out to be 100% IV, the shiny Registeel, the Shlundo, the two Shlundos were all planned trades. The rest were all just spam trades. It works, guys, I'm telling you, 20 random spam trades. So let's do four star and traded. So we had nine additional. Whoa, I got a Spinda? I don't even, I didn't even see that one from a trade. <laughs> Random trade. So we have nine additional on top of that that were non-lucky 100% IV Pokemon, including super rare Axew, which I call a Maxew, and a Giratina, which is insane. And we have, let's do the hatched as well. Total of 16 hatched, which is cool. And then we have a total of 29 legendaries. And we have one lucky, two luckies, one from a trade. So we have three total, so 26 total Pokemon that were caught from raids, and then 29 with the trades included as well. Just to put that into perspective, we have 6,688 egg hatches, and then we've raided 5,790, and we've traded 26,803 times. So, you have to stay after it, you have to grind. There's only one real thing that gets you exactly what you want in Pokemon Go, and guess what that is? playing hard. So, thank you guys for being here as always. Let me know what you guys have as far as your 100% IV collection in Pokemon Go. So, appreciate you guys being here. Likers, commenters, subscribers, Patreon members. Everybody takes their support, subscription, and participation. Do next level. I'm gonna see you guys out on the next video. Peace. I want to take this time to thank everybody who supports me in every facet. It means the world to me and an extra special thank you to all my Patreons. I greatly appreciate the extra support to continue to allow me to pursue Pokemon Go full time, allowing me to create my daily video uploads in the most timely fashion for everyone's benefit. Plus, I get the amazing experience of sharing my creative processes behind the scenes and raiding all around the globe with select upper tiers. Thank you everybody for being a part of the Trainer Club. You all mean the absolute world to me, and I will see you guys out on the next video.